Okay, morning everybody. This is day two working on uh, working on the cars. Okay, we're gonna get started by working on Ariel. Uh, I did find a potential fix for for the Audi. It might be a solenoid that's built into the AC compressor. Um, it's possible that we could jump it and maybe get the AC working, which would mean that the solenoid's bad, uh, and that would save a, a huge chunk of change over replacing the entire uh, AC compressor. It's uh, about 25% the cost um, and that's buying a cheap AC compressor so we're gonna try doing that but first what we got to do is um, our daily driver which is Ariel is right now having a hard time starting when she sits for a long time so we're gonna go get a new battery and some Freon while we're at Advance Auto Parts hi Advance battery installation as easy as possible when I left the store or before I left the store I made sure that the battery was the same dimension yes there's a group number and everything but just be just to be on the safe side because sometimes the batteries can mirror um, just make sure the batteries are the same size orientation of the post is the same uh, some battery some cars do when they pull them up in their system uh, advanced auto zone fat boys the battery can call for more than one the car can call for more than one size or type of battery it could be uh, depending on an engine option or something like that just make sure that the battery you take in which you know fits your car is the same size battery and dimension that you leave with and you shouldn't have any issues reinstalling it, it makes everything a lot easier so first thing we're gonna do is put the battery tie down strap back on easiest way to do this is you want to loosen these as much as possible but keep them still captured in the nuts and just lower it over these hook into if you can get right here these actually hook into catches on the battery tray so once that one's there I want to make sure the other side gets captured as well same process and then you can just start slowly tightening them down Can be a little bit figly, bit finicky, finicky, figly, finicky. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, your hand tighten them, and I'm trying to do this. Very important here, since I know people will sometimes follow people to the letter. I'm doing this with the battery disconnected because if you have the positive and the negative connected, and when you're touching ground, you accidentally touch the positive, it will arc. And that's going to be a very uh, interesting moment for anybody caught in that situation. So, you... so now the battery is tied down and secured. A little bit more on this side. Okay. Battery's not going anywhere. Now we can attach it. We're going to attach the positive first. And then the negative. I'm going to make sure that's secure. Cover that back up. And now, car is live. Now at this point, you do not want to touch this to any metal on the car. So we're going to come in and we're going to attach the positive terminal. Sorry, the negative terminal. Negative, negative, positive. Think positive, but negative in that case. And now you're all set. So guys, that's it for this episode. We're going to cut this one short. The rest of the video is going to be part of Cora, and that's going to be moved into the next episode. This one was just about Ariel, who's good to go. She's good to roll. So please like, subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing. we got tons of projects coming up. We've got a cool hack coming up for Cora, who's actually parked over here, to get some colder air into her engine. We've got a Back to Basics series coming up with an older Toyota. We're going to be rehabbing that car, getting it back on the road, fully serviced, mostly fully serviced and usable as, an, as a secondary car. 
or maybe as a hand-me-down car if, if you've got a you know teenager coming of age about to get their license and somebody's got the older car in the house and it's time to pass the keys down to somebody else uh, or if you're that teen driver picking up the car it's not the end of the world hand-me-downs are awesome so once again guys thank you uh, like subscribe stick with us for more and thank you for watching have a good one i'll see you later